What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Apple Watch Leather Loop. So right here I have a black Apple Watch Leather Loop. This is in the medium size and 42 millimeter for my Apple Watch. This is actually the band I've wanted all along. Um, but if you guys remember, I told you a little bit about the situation. This actual model of the Apple Watch wasn't shipping for four to six weeks on release day. The Milanese Loop is the one that I wound up going with, and that actually shipped on April 24th. So I've had this thing for over a month, um, but this was always the band that I really wanted. It took forever to get here. And as you know, Apple sells all of the watches bands separately, and uh, whatever watch you actually buy will come with whatever you pick at first, but you can buy more separately. So I figured I'd show the process in this video. Uh, of course, you know the fact that Apple does sell these individually. This was 150 bucks, which is pretty pricey but again this is the one that I really did want and so on the front you just have the band right there some Apple watch leather loop information and on the back we have everything there as well too so there's a little seal I'll go ahead and tear it off and out comes a little plastic case which is actually practically identical um, to the Apple watch sport edition case so we'll tear that seal but so let's go ahead and have a look swing it open and so there right there on the inside you can see uh, it says Apple Watch and there is the band itself so roll this to the side. So now let's take a closer look at the band so very simple it just comes out of the box and there's a little space for the band itself and here it is so this is the $150 leather loop again very expensive um, but it feels very nice this is what I wanted it's, it's natural genuine leather uh, it feels really nice in the hand and I love the texture design. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my watch now and we're gonna get this thing on. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this Milanese loop, just like that. All right, there goes the Milanese loop. Here's the watch itself. So now we'll go ahead and open this here. So here's the top piece, we'll go ahead and put that in. You can see it just kind of clicks in there. And let's get the bottom piece set up. Now we'll go ahead and put the bottom piece on, just like that. Oop. Sometimes if you do it too fast, it slides right off. But there we go, the bottom piece is on. And there we go, that is the Apple Watch with the black leather loop. Here's how Apple Watch now looks with the leather loop on, as you can see, very sleek. I love how this color looks. This is definitely a lot, lot more comfortable um, than the Milanese loop itself. It's just, I got so used to the Milanese loop that I feel like this is gonna take time to get used to. Um, but you know, it's a bunch of magnets that just kind of uh, snap down just like that, and you, it's infinitely, not infinitely adjustable, but um, there's definitely a lot of adjustment options that you can add. Uh, this is the medium size, originally I ordered the large, and I'm kinda happy that I switched, I actually went to the store to make sure um, that the large was too large, and in fact it was. Um, the large that I tried on, the rest of the slack that was left went all the way up to the watch here, and then it just looks stupid, like it just looks like too much, so I canceled it and ordered the medium, and that's definitely the favorable option here, that definitely looks a lot better. But there you guys go, that is the Apple Watch uh, Black Leather Loop. Quick unboxing, first look, just so you guys can get an idea. Like I said, this is the one that I wanted originally. I'm really happy that I finally have the Apple Watch combination that I've wanted all along. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with my Milanese Loop here. Maybe I'll change it out for more formal events and stuff. Um, but yeah, so there you guys go. If you like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.